Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers who are uh, in the back, come here. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-anbiya wa al-mursaleen Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Allahumma allimna ma yanfa'una wa anfa'na bima allamtana wa zidna ilman wa alhiqna bi abadika salihin Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa ahlul uqudatan min lisani yafqahu qawli Before we start our questions, just give a small reminder for everyone Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the hadith said من لم يهتم بأمر المسلمين فليس منهم. A person who don't care about the Muslims, his brothers in Islam and sisters in Islam, he is not one of them. And we have many hadiths speak that Muslims are one body. If you have pain in your like finger, all your body will feel pain, right? It's same. If you as a Muslim. If one of your brother or sister in any part of the world feel pain, all of us must feel pain, right? So now I'm like uh, looking for the, mashallah, how much food we are eating in Japan, how much money we have, and uh, looking for the people who are like now suffering too much and dying uh, due to starving in Palestine, now in uh, Sudan, of course, Syria, Afghanistan, many, many countries. And uh, asking myself what we did for those people. This, uh, first of all, and second, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the hereafter when he asked us, what did you do for your brother and sister in Islam regarding to this issue? What kind of answer we can give? Right? What kind of answer we can give? All of us will say we make dua only. So he give you money, but you make dua. He give you power, but you make dua. He give you like a very strong account in SNS, and you only make dua. Of course, no. So, shukrul nama to be thankful to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala because of any kind of blessings He give it to you. You must put that kind of nama to serve Islam and Muslims. I mentioned this many times before. Any blessing Allah SWT give it to you, you must put it to serve Islam and Muslims. So think about yourself, what kind of answer you will give to Allah SWT in the hereafter when he will ask you about your brothers and sisters in Palestine, in Syria, in Sudan, and other Muslim countries who are like uh, struggling and uh, dying. If any one of us can do, now why we are separating? Now, alhamdulillah, we have uh, ability to have second floor and basement and third floor. This is first. So why we are not using for that kind of uh, proper place for women so they can take their freedom to stay as they like is actually is for advantage for them. It's not something against them. It's something advantage for them. Is we are making a special place for them. They can stay as they like. They can pray as they like. After they pray, they can sit, make zikr. No one sees them. No one like bothers them. This first point. Second, we are not Sahaba. Sheikh Mawahid, we are not Sahaba. So our akhlaq now is not like Sahaba. Right? Ghadd al-Basar, like low your vision, we are not like Sahaba. Hmm? We change it actually. So many things happened in our Muslim communities since 1,400 years ago until today. So now the best option, of course, if we are forced to pray in the same, uh, like one floor, if there is no any other option, okay, is, salah is sahiha, salah is acceptable. But now, we have, alhamdulillah, now we have, alhamdulillah, like uh, ability, whenever you are building mosque, we have first floor, second floor, sometimes third floor. So why not giving more opportunity for women to have their freedom? And second floor, please uh, control the kids. So this about the Sheikh Muhammad about this point. So nothing haram in this point, but time is changing and money ability also changing. Now we can make another uh, like uh, 
uh, like police, separate police for women. And we need also like uh, have 100% focus on our prayers. Must be 100% sick for, for sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not to think this woman behind me, I need to look at her. No, you need to focus for your prayer only. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only. And the manners of people also change it. So we can expect some prohibited things happen from bad Muslim. So to avoid all of these things, it's better to second floor or whatever you can decide. Separate place for men, separate place for women. Yes. Any other question you can ask? Oof. Kafir. Your question is, uh, how can I say? Is a question itself, it takes for some answer, but what you are seeing now is taking another answer. Okay, so I'll give you a definition at first. Al kufr means al taqtiya in Arabic. Taqtiya means cover. Kafara means cover. So a person who uh, is kafir means he cover his mind and his heart from something. Kufr, for example, for me as a Muslim, I am kafir in Christianity. I'm kafir in Christianity. Why? I don't believe in their belief. So it means I'm kafir in their belief. Okay? I cover my heart and my mind for that kind of belief. I can't accept it. And he is kafir for my belief because he don't accept also my belief and my, like, uh, doctrine. This is about kufr. About your question, actually, as I mentioned, your question is a thing and what you, is the last statement giving us, us to another, uh, another uh, direction, which is, about kind of really like situation in the hereafter, okay? So we have the first kind, first type, a person who never received the message of Islam all his life, never heard anything about Islam. Maybe he's in an isolated uh, island or whatever, no technology, no phone, nothing. He never heard anything, anything about Islam. He never received any messenger. No Muslim, he never met any Muslim before, he's alone, he never, like, he never hear anything about Islam. This thing, this person, in the hereafter, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will put him in a, in a test. And based on what Allah subhanahu knows, of course, before he even created him, what kind of intentions and uh, character he has, based on that, he can success or not in the hereafter, in the test. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never... Uh, give any kind of injustice against uh, the people, of course. And Allah SWT knows that if that person, if there is any opportunity to know the haqq, he will follow it or not. Allah SWT of course know before. That's why based on that, he will judge him in the hereafter. So we can see he's going to hellfire. It's up to Allah SWT, he will have a test. After test, the result will be decided by Allah SWT. This first type. Of course, because he is not believe, believing in my belief. But there is a big difference between kafir who is entering hellfire and true, like direct kafir, true kafir, and a person who didn't receive the message of Islam. Totally different. We can call him non Muslim. Non Muslim. I will need to repeat what I said before. Focus with me. Focus with me. I said kafara in Arabic means ghatta. Cover something. Okay? And the real meaning, a person who doesn't believe in the other's beliefs. For example, I am kafir towards two Christian person. I am. Why? Because I don't believe in his doctrine. I don't believe in his uh, aqidah. So I'm kafir towards to him. He is also kafir towards to me. Why? Because he is not believing in what I'm believing. So the word itself is not, is not bad. It's not very bad. So, so, so what I'm trying to say is I understand that people are using the word in the wrong way. Yes. Okay. Using the word is in our... Yes. So yes. Yeah. So, sometimes, sometimes the word itself is not a problem, but when you use it by some uh, context or some kind of uh, community, it will be misunderstanding. So you better to not use it. 
I'm not speaking about kafir word, I'm speaking about in general. So in Islam, the word itself sometimes is good word, good meaning, no problem, but people can use it for bad word. In this case, it will be up to your like, intention. If you mean something good, or you are meaning something bad. Going back to your question, according to Aqid of al al Jama'a, which is like uh, represented by four mazaib, Ahnaf, Malikiya, Shafiya, Hanabila, not others. I'm speaking about this only. Those non Muslims are three categories. First, I already explained. Even maybe some of them ex exist in our, nowadays. He never hear anything about Islam. He never, never, ever hear anything about Islam. He never meet anyone Muslim. He never hear anything in, because he don't have media, for example, he don't have anything. He never hear something. He never even hear something, some religion called Islam. He don't know anything about that. That category, Allah subhanahu wa in the hereafter will judge him by, they will have test and he will judge them. Then based on what he knows about them already, if in dunya, if they know haq, they will follow it or not, their way also will be either jahannam or not, Allah subhanahu will decide. Second category, a person heard about Islam, but by very, very bad image. Islam is terrorist, Islam is ISIS, Islam is like this, Islam is uh, like uh, Osama bin Laden, Islam is like this, is this Islam? You don't know anything else. Islam means you will kill me. Islam means you will boo. This Islam. You don't know anything else. All his life, all whatever he studied about Islam, Islam only is terrorist. Islam is only bad. That kind of people also, some scholars like have some opinions about them, not consistent. Either they directly go to the place which we know, or also they will be seen as the first category. Will be also judged in the hereafter by test. Why? Because he didn't receive the real message of Islam. So how he can know? Sisters, please, second floor, control the kids because we can't give our lecture. This is about the second category. Third category is what we all of us know. A person who received the message of Islam by clear way, clear way. Everything was clear for him. Then he say, oh, no, 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 I reject Islam, I never accept something. I don't believe in your God, I don't believe in Islam, I don't believe in your prophet. I don't even accept anything. Is thought for Dorit Tani? Ya Jama'a is thought for Dorit Tani. That kind of category, Allah SWT told us about them in Quran, they are going to hellfire. We, without any doubt, receive the message of Islam clearly, without any demonizing, without any wrong mistake, like any mistake or anything, clear. And then he rejects the dawah of Islam, same as Abu Lahab and Abu Jahl. Same. I'm not speaking from something out of the history, no, from the history. Abu Lahab and Abu Jahl, we are the, in the hellfire. Why? They received the complete message of Islam clearly, without any mistake, without any misguidance, without any demonizing, and they say, we will never believe in your God. Khalas, in hellfire. So that's two categories, we have some like uh, details about them, but this category is clear about Kafir. Any other question? Again, please. Yeah. 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 Your question will get wider. Why? Same conception. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala can take our souls, right? Why He put angel of this? He can make the rain fall. But he makes some angel like uh, this is his responsibility, for example. Why? He can put the soul in the baby after four months when he is in the womb of, of his mother. But why he put send angel to that? Why? Why he created the heavens and the earth in six days? Why is not just come for and finish? Right? So your question is getting wider. It's not about those two angels only. It's about everything. Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put another creation to do something? 
This is the question, right? Yes. Simply, first, to teach us that you must take reasons. Not something come but by once like this. No. Everything have a reason. Follow the reasons, you will go get the result. Got it? There are some reasons. He created the heaven and earth in six days, which telling you nothing come easy. Take the steps, take reasons. About angels, writing right and uh, like right and, uh, and uh, uh, left, to tell you that be careful, they are with you now. Hmm? Why? Because when I say Allah is watching you, of course you understand that he is watching you, but you, sometimes you forget he is watching you. But when I say there is two angels now, now, when I say there is a human in front of you, you are seeing me, right? So it's reminding you more that Allah SWT exists, right? Same for this, to take, be careful that they are writing now whatever is good or whatever is bad. And in the hereafter, when uh, you will see, for example, Surah al haqqa which you recited uh, yesterday, in just a barak, the person who will receive his book by his, yes, and hmm? this book has been written by those angels, right? So it's giving you that they didn't made any injustice against you. Whatever you have said has been written. Whatever you have done has been written. Look, that's their work. Did they make any injustice against you? Allah will ask you. If they make any injustice, he will judge them, of course. But it's impossible. Impossible that angel will make any injustice against you. So it's giving you that everything coming by reasons. Otherwise, he can create everything in just one second. Finish. 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 No need any angel to take your soul. He will finish. And everything. Everything. Even he can create you without your mother. No problem. Allah SWT can't do anything. But he's telling you that everything coming gradually by reasons. And as a human, you need to have patience. Sabr. And you need to, everything, every creation Allah SWT created, it just to remind you by the power of Allah SWT. By the glory of Allah SWT. Everything Allah SWT created, to remind you and every creation by the glory of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. See, look at the heaven, how beautiful I created. And it's not falling down on the earth, with, although there is no any like pillars. Why? The glory of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He can actually create pillars for the heaven actually, but he didn't. He can make the earth much bigger or much smaller, but he didn't. He make everything perfect now. Like is the solar system and all these things perfect? You can study about these things. Perfect. Why? To know that he is the creator. Not only by Quran, even by your mind. If you look by your eye, in Surah Al Al Ghashiya, wa ila al-samaa kaifa rufiat, wa ila al-jibal kaifa nusibat, wa ila al-ard kaifa sutihat. Fadakir, inma anta mudakir. So something by the verses and something by your mind. To, for everyone, even for, especially for non-Muslims, who just know that Allah SWT exists, He gives them many signs, even your, your nafs. How you has been created is a big miracle. From water, liquid, became a human. Right? It's not easy. How? Is there any liquid can like, transform to human? It's impossible. Impossible. That's why all of these things happen because of that. Clear, inshallah? One more question is okay. Hmm. About uh, ISIS, they are not Muslims. The first of all. Because I never heard in Islam such verse say, go and kill innocent people. I never. If someone have any verse, please give it to me. I never hear any hadith of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi said, uh, whenever you see no Muslim, go and kill him. I never hear this in my life. So those people are no Muslims. This first point. 
Second, they are not representing Islam because we are two billion Muslim around the world among eight billion human. So we are 25% of the population of the earth. If those stupid people who are not Muslim, of course, we can say they are like 0.1 of Muslims. We are not Muslims. Let's say 0.1. We still have 99.9 who are following the really like teaching of Islam. Why we are judging Islam by that kind of stupidity and ignoring the majority, which they are 99.9. .9. Third, if I have money, for example, if a person has money, much money, and he hates Christianity, for example, he can also give his money to the, some people, some assassinated people, and say, wear cross, okay, and kill people in the name of Jesus by my money. Every person you will kill, I will give you $3,000. For example, easy, many people can do that. And media can come and say, okay, look, Christian people are terrorists. I can do the same for uh, like uh, Buddhism or Shintoism or whatever. So is that really the religion? Is that really representing the real followers of Islam? No, it's not like that. And again, as yesterday I mentioned, definition of uh, terrorism itself, you need to clarify it. Right? I asked you, you attend. You remember the five points? Okay, when you apply it, who is doing that? Western countries, so not us, right? And I will give you one more point, just put it in your mind. Human beings are eight billion, right? We are two billion. So how many people are still non-Muslims? Six billion. If by that kind of stupidity, like if we claim that Islam only teaching to kill others, okay? So if we are all terrorists, if two billion Muslims are terrorists, and in their doctrine and their mind, you must, you must kill other people. So which means we are two billion. If every one of us kill three people, then there is no anyone on the earth will survive except Muslims, right? Why we are not doing that? Because it's not our religion. Because Islam never teaches something like that. You will say, okay, because now we are weak, right? Because now we are, don't have the power like before. Okay, when we got the power, like 1,000 years ago, we controlled half of the earth. You know, you read our history. History of Islam, we controlled half of the earth. We got the huge power. Anyone who wants to have a deal with us, he needs to learn Arabic. Okay? Anyone who wants to learn even one who wanted to deal with us, even the British king, when he wanted to send his daughter to in Andalusia to learn uh, in our universities, he wrote his message in Arabic. In Arabic, in our language. Why we didn't do that when we got that maximum power? Because it's not the teaching of Islam. Islam is to protect Muslim and non-Muslim. And that's why every Christian and Jewish and every non-Muslim who lived in our countries during 1,400 years, they are 100% safe. Unlike now what happened in other countries, especially what happened now in Palestine, Muslims and Christians have been killed by those Jewish. So it's opposite. That's the need to learn about that. We finish, inshallah. Tomorrow we continue, inshallah. Kulu kawli hadha wa astaghfirullahi wa rakum. Subhanakallah wa bihamdika shadu wa lanta astaghfirullahi wa rakum. Wa sallam wa sallam wa barakatuh.